This patient just had his appendix removed in surgery and is now brought into the shared patient room to stay for observation for two nights. He is tired from surgery, but can't sleep because it's still light out. There's noises <coughs> and movements. He just has to lay there and wait for everything to be over. He would like some control over the situation, but all he can do is adjust his bed and change the channel. But that's about it. The situation would have been much different if the shared patient rooms were equipped with a willow. This time, when the patient is brought into the room, he notices the willows above the beds. Once he's in the bed, the head of the willow descends. The patient is trying to sleep, and the willow can provide the necessary cover to help him do so. But if he wants to sleep, he has to bring the willow to sleep as well. Right now, it appears very awake. The willow's head is within the reach of the patient. This is the point of interaction. The willow can be put to sleep like you would with a pet, by gently stroking it, petting it, and making shushing sounds. The whole willow starts to fall asleep. The head becomes heavier, it purrs, the lights go down, it starts to cover the patient from the stimuli from the rest of the room. The patient can finally sleep and rest from his recent surgery. At night, the doctor comes to check on her patient. The branches go up as she approaches, and the patient turns out to be fine, and the doctor continues on her round. As the patient wakes up, he sees the willow's head still laying next to him. He wakes it up, and as the willow awakens, he can enjoy the early morning sunlight from outside. The willow helps overnight patients to sleep and to retain their privacy. It provides hospitals a way of turning their shared rooms into multiple smaller rooms. All on the patient's own accord if they wish to be separated. And if you sleep, the willow sleeps and helps out. If you're awake, the willow's awake. All as the patient's needs demand.